be how I need to get it. I mean, it doesn't need anything on it except for that. So Monday? <laughs> Monday would be awesome. We'll do a little bit of foam work and make it custom. That's what we do. Nothing but uh, another day in the life of a seat maker. Thank you, sir. Thank See you. Ya. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bam. Let's go. Fantastic. All right. Target. Yep. Shapes. 42. 42. All has to be incorporated on the rear fender, front fender, gas tank, possibly an air cleaner. Okay. So and we have, we the air yeah, we have some small Pieces of angled gear. side covers here. We're going to have to incorporate these backward fins. We're going to incorporate uh, yes. a couple of those on the rear fender. With one or two on the front fender, mm -hmm. the foundation sponsor logo. That also incorporates a small little checkered flag style, which I think will go fine on the rear fender. We just put the front fender on, so now you got an idea what okay. it looks like. Well, that thing rides low. Yeah. What I like about the front fender, everything has these point shapes, which yeah. is what the graphic is all about. You're gonna have nothing else. Target. Oh, I don't know. Is that on you there? see it I anywhere? I don't. I don't either. Why would you even think of suggesting putting Target on there, Bobby? It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was my. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll I guess get you out of here then. Let me get the fender off for you. Okay. I got the tag bracket in the box. And the tank. And I'll give you the tank. Okay. All right. Yeah. That looks awesome. We are about to put this wheel, put this on, wheel this on this bike. bike. And, uh, and okay. then. Yeah, there's the tank. And fry. Oh. All right. And then. <laughs> These are the <laughs> burger. And yep. the fries on the phone. And then. <laughs> no, and then. It's sweet. You just want to get the bike. Put <laughs> right. it down so. That's a sweet wheel, man. Those are all star accessories. You can get them. Really? Any Raider. Here we go. All right. Good? Yeah. Uh, we're not lined up. No, I think the tire ain't centered. What are you guys f***ing with? I know. It hasn't centered anything. Just leave it alone. <laughs> You're the one that said it. <laughs> See how I switched? Huh? See me dive right in there and switch. Was that he was the one that said it. Yeah, we're not even we're not even done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're hilarious. You That's good. Admit, that was good. It was. Right in there. No change of best. tone. That was no good. change of tone. No nothing. Just right on the Parts Unlimited thought the project was worthwhile and gave us a nice set of tires. Can't believe it. That's great, man. We're done. The real stuff. Once that motor gets back together, we can start doing mm -hmm. a lot more. Tonight went pretty good. Everything seemed to fit real good. No problems. People yeah, it is. Call it a night. So we'll clean to up tomorrow. What do you think? Yeah, I'm tired. I was hoping you'd say that. All right. Let's do that tomorrow, Sounds man. Good. Let's get out of here. All right. Ooh. You just show how hard this 2X crew bust their ass. Yeah. They got me down here uh, fixing trailer brake wires. You complaining? No. Never. You're getting ready for Daytona. You have to polish. Look at that beer belly. You've been drinking too much lately. Wow. Dave always wants me to be a better mechanic. Look at him, trying to look just like him. We're working on it. Well, I just thought I was coming over to have like a meeting or something. You are, we're talking. Not, not wax a trailer. <laughs> That's how it goes with Joe. He never tells you what you're really in for until you get here. If I told you what we were coming over here for, would you have shown up? Oh, yeah. You know I like to help. Joe, you have a screw loose up here. Yeah, I got a few loose. Oh, you got on the trailer? Yeah. Well, I know you have some loose yourself, but... salons and pay for that kind of treatment. <laughs> My Uncle Steve is racing his Ducati Daytona this year, and he needed a pit vehicle, so what better pit vehicle than our original super scooter, which I'm working on getting running again because it's been sitting for quite a while. We just got to Daytona, and it's pretty nice out. It's not as hot as down home. It's a nice ride up, no complications. Joe is on time at the gas station, believe it or not. We just arrived at Meat Forest Customs here on Meat Street. It's going to be a good day, so we're excited. It's going to be really great.
what do you think? I think it's awesome, dude. Uh, I think we need to fire it up. Yeah. Gotta get it running for you, huh? I gotta get down this trip here. And... Steve, good to see you again. Nice to see you, Joe. How are you? What is going on? I see everybody's surrounding this new 450 over here. There's all kinds of exciting news for yeah, you guys. Yeah, that's the breaking news for us at Yamaha for 2010. We have a whole new engine design uh, for, the, for the motocross crowd. Uh, new technology, new breakthrough, new okay. ideas, new thinking. All right, Dave, so this is the brand new 2010 YZ450F. Pretty much rebuilt from front to rear. Yeah, it's totally changed. Just start with the motor, which is the biggest thing. Yeah. It's fuel injected now. The head spun around backwards. The exhaust comes out the back, which seems pretty logical. The pipe comes up and makes this big tornado loop in here. It's got fuel injection with the direct straight intake on it. It's like a straight line down to the valves. It's a four valve head now instead of a five valve head. The crank is usually dead center underneath the cylinder, which creates friction in the cylinder. It's now pointing straight down. So every time there's a power pulse, the piston's pushing the connecting rod straight down at seven on an angle, which makes for less friction and more power. This is an S-Bend frame now, which makes for better rigidity. The air box is under the tank now. The tank's now under the seat. It's got a semi-transparent tank on it. Looks like it's almost got like a little ram air ducts in here. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. I thought it might have a little ram air. It's got the <laughs> air ducts and the uh, radiator shrouds yeah. now. It's got Forks are redone, offset triple clamps so instead of 24 millimeters is 22. 50 millimeter piston in the rear shock now. The piggyback reservoir is now sideways and it's much bigger. It holds a lot more nitrogen. It's got that resonator to keep it quiet. They say yeah. this thing is only what I think like 95 dBs, really? something like that. It's a mean machine. It's it's definitely cool. I like it. I want to ride it though. I want to take it out for a spin. <laughs> Get it in the dirt. The advances have been incredible. We were talking earlier. You had the V Max come out. Mm -hmm. The new VMAX has a 65-degree, 4-valve, 1,679cc engine with downdraft fuel injection. The engine is nestled in a new aluminum frame with a monocross-length type rear suspension for better handling. It's torquey, fast, and has a truly unique look to it. You had the Crossplane R1 come out, right. and now you've got a 450. I mean, you guys are just raising the bar one more level. There's one thing Steve's not happy about with me right now. He wanted to get some pictures of the Juan Pablo bike, you know, because we're building the, the Raider for Juan Pablo Montoya, and he's really not happy right now. But I want to assure you, it looks awesome, and we're going to be delivering it here in about three weeks. I promise you I will shoot you pictures before that happens. Oh, I can't wait to see. You know how excited I get about your project. You guys have been great. We did the Jimmy Johnson project together, the Jason Bonham project. We have a lot more coming in 2010 as well. We'll keep you informed about it. We've yes. got to find somebody maybe down the road who's going to let us ride a couple of those. Yeah, we could, you, uh, you've got my number. <laughs> we can make that out. Trust me, I'm going to call him yeah, too. That's here we go. Steve Libertori here at the Yamaha Star right here at Biketoberfest 2009. Check them out. Go to their website. they got all kinds of information about all the new materials, all the new bikes. Believe me, it'll be worth your time. Keep riding. That's for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Joe. Beautiful, man. Mm. Beautiful. What's up, man? Gentlemen! Oh, it's us again. Gracious. How are we? I haven't seen you guys since we came up to New York for the golf outing. Oh, wait, wait were you guys there for that? No, I'm the guy that said you should come, and he said no. I, I, no, I don't. Don't put that kind Very of power nice. on me. I don't have that. How's things going up here? Not good? bad, not bad. Yeah. Cool. Looking good. Attendance is good, so. Fantastic, yeah. All right. No matter how many times we all display our bikes at different events in different towns, it is always great to hear what the fans really think. It's cool, isn't it? Whoever built this, uh, it's quite a tribute. That's cool. when you got a Leatherman. You don't. That's it. That's all you need from like the Leatherman. That's awesome, man. 